Eubany Kingsley 4. Worldly Films and Christian Music. Part 2. Continued from Part 1. Watching worldly films is like bowing down to idols. Then Jesus went ahead to tell me that each time I start watching all those worldly films, the Holy Spirit leaves me because He is jealous. He needs my attention all the time. And any time I gave my attention to anything that does not glorify God, He feels hurt and leaves me. Ephesians 4.30 says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Reader, there was something I heard from Jesus that frightened me. Jesus told me that giving my attention to worldly films is like bowing down to idols and the moment I withdraw my attention from God and give it to films or any other thing that does not glorify God, God sees me as an idolater and no idolater will inherit the kingdom of God. But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire, and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation 22,8 Worldly films and worldly clothes makes one a sinner. Furthermore, Jesus said to me, Kingsley, any time a Christian uses his money to buy worldly films or worldly clothes, those clothes a real born-again Christian ought not to put on, or any other thing that shows worldliness, Satan and his cohorts rejoice because they know that the moment a Christian buys their things, automatically, he becomes a candidate of hellfire, even though the person may be ignorant of what he has done, his ignorance does not stop him from becoming guilty. Of offense. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will reject thee. Hosea 4 6. For the children of this world are wiser than the children of light. Luke 16 8. When a Christian buys worldly things, such as films or fashions, wears that depict worldliness, he is promoting the kingdoms of darkness, and Satan and his agents will use it to accuse him because he, Satan, is the accuser of Christians, Revelation 12:10. Then Jesus asked whether I know the reason why those films were smelling and I replied no to him. And he told me that the reason was that each of the films attracts the presence of demons who are in charge of the kingdoms of darkness to which the actors and actresses and the wrestlers belonged. And each demon has a smell that differentiates it from other demons. Jesus went ahead to draw it to my consciousness that any moment I start watching all those films, the demons who were in charge of them gain more energy to move about in my house and that is the reason why after watching the films, I could not pray the way I supposed to have prayed. Then, he asked me what my gain will be if after watching the films, I lose my salvation to Satan. Matthew 16:25. He asked me to destroy the films and I have done that. Then Jesus asked me to search my house and bring out anything I know I collected from somebody. And return it to him or her at all cost because failure to do that will send me to hell fire and he. Wouldn't want anything to prevent me and other Christians from entering the kingdom of God. Pray well before buying Christian music. Having given me these instructions. Jesus asked me to be careful about the Christian music I buy. The reason for such instruction, according to him, was that Satan recently has released the spirit of music both Christian ones and worldly ones which when we hear them if we are not spiritually alert, they will capture our interest, and that was one of the reasons why the time of his coming was being reduced in order to save the elects. Reader do you know another thing I heard from Jesus that shocked me? Jesus told me that some of the Christian music we play is not really Christian music. They are music produced by the underworld and make them look as exactly like Christian music but they are not. He also told me that the God and the Jesus some of the Christian musicians are calling or singing to is not the God that created the heaven and the earth and one that died on the cross for the salvation of man. But those musicians are referring to their own God and Jesus. And when we listen to those songs, we will begin to sing them, 
thinking that we are singing to God. But we don't know that we are not singing to God but to Satan. And when we buy those music, Satan rejoices because we are promoting him and his kingdom. Then Jesus ordered me to open Ephesians 5:19 and Colossians 3:16. I opened them, and they said, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Colossians 3:16. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody. In your heart to the Lord. Ephesians 5:19. Having gone through these two passages, Jesus told me the following. One that psalms, that is praises that are reviving and not entertaining. Two hymns and spiritual songs, pure worship songs, are the three types of songs. God approves of. Then he said to me, Son, I have given you enough information to escape hellfire and if eventually you go to hellfire, you will have yourself to blame. I have told you that I have concluded everything about my coming, and I have informed the saints in heaven that shortly their brethren in the world will be coming home. To be concluded. Copied from Witness Oquidalish Facebook page.